share, to share your, your knowledge and insights. Um, I'm going to hand over the floor to you with here to listen to you and listen to what works, what works on the floor. And the first to speak is uh, Natalie Porias from the Red Noses Clown Doctor International. Natalie, tell us, tell us how you, you bring joy and, and relief to kids in hospitals. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for having us. Um, yeah, to turn. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. We do have a little slideshow. I hope it's working. Let's see if it rolls. There we go. Well, the beauty of art, I think, cannot be explained on a rational level. Art builds bridges, gets you in touch with your inner world. Consequently, you become more resilient. You can deal better with the realities outside of yourself. But art also gives you sometimes this short moment to just take a breath and to just know that there is still beauty and hope for you out there. As you saw in these touching pictures here now, we are convinced that art should exist in the most unexpected places of our life, be it a hospital environment or even a refugee centre, where fear and suffering are overshadowing the realities of the people there. We should not forget what makes us human, and it has been mentioned here today that art connects us. Art connects us our emotional world, and this is so important. It's not just the mere survival or the mere medical treatment that you should get. You're always human, no matter where you are. And I would like to read to you a quote of one of the coordinators in Greece, Lesbos, where we always have regular activities. Red noses clowns have brought so much joy and laughter to the camp. I saw children gaining confidence and feeling empowered through the skills they were learning. I got to see kids that have been robbed of their childhood have a chance to just be kids again. They could let go of their worries and fears and just play. Red Noses has made a lasting impact on the children of the Mavaruni camp. Red Noses has made it their mission to bring the power of professional clown art to people in need of joy. For more than 25 years, our professionally trained and paid artists connect people with the beauty of human emotions. And we always strive to work with the full environment that we are working in. So we include everybody, doctors, nurses, healthcare providers, parents, children, humanitarian aid workers. Because art reaches everyone, not just a specific audience. And the same is very, very important to us in our Clown Nexus, Clowning Connect Us project by the European Corporation, Creative Europe. Here we work with two very special environments and two very special audiences, people with dementia and children on the autism spectrum. Also here, we create, co-create together with parents and caretakers, and we notice how important it is to bring their voices also to the table so that we have the perfect artistic interventions. Positive, the positive effects of art go beyond the rational mind, as I already said, but still we collect data. It's important so that we start speaking the same languages of the environment that we worked in, and our colleague from the WHO has mentioned how important that is, so that we can drive the same goals forward. Art, and in our case, clowning and humor, makes everyone more resilient. We can teach healthcare workers and humanitarian aid staff to harness this power, so we give humor workshops to these target groups. We firmly believe that people who know how to laugh and to play are more resilient. And bringing the power of art and humor to places of crisis and hardship, we can contribute to this resilience. And one such place is in a hospital before a surgery. And I would like to read another quote 
of a surgeon in Slovakia. The clowns are great. For me as a surgeon, it is amazing to see children laughing just before going into the operation room. They're not afraid at all. Anesthesia procedures go smoother and without stress. Red noses clowns are very much appreciated. So we are happy that at Red Noses we can already bring this relief to stressful situation, but there's so much more that needs to be done. So therefore we need more support from decision makers to make artistic interventions a regular aspect of healthcare and humanitarian aid settings. And the upcoming EU mental health strategy is a good opportunity to do so. As mentioned here today by the chair, culture is part of the solution. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, um, Nathalie, for your, your wonderful um, presentation. So let's